Financial goals, why do they matter? Starting an investment early could be beneficial for us in the long run. But an investment which lacks purpose is not a sign of a good investment. Then you may ask me what brings purpose to our investments. The answer to this is having a goal. Having a goal not only brings purpose to your investments, but at the same time it helps you create a good investment portfolio. We have our investment expert Mr. Gurraj with us who let us know the importance of defining your goals before starting any investment. Gurraj, the screen is all yours. So what is more important is please define your goals. Very, very important. Because I still find many people asking, boss, I have money, tell me what to do, where to invest. Then you will come and say, boss, now market looks very good. Can I invest in equity fund? These are the questions what people normally ask. Please avoid all these questions. What you should be very clear is what is the goal I am investing for. For example, it could be anything. It could be even a short tour for abroad for you. It could be the normal goals like children's education goal, marriage, buying a house, your retirement planning. So you need to define your goals for what you are investing. Why I'm saying is once you define the goal, you know how much time you have. So the second important point is time. You need to tell me whether you're coming for one year, two year, three year, five year, 10 year, 15 year, or even 20 years. Retirement planning could be more than 30 years also for some of you, right? So very important to define the goals. From there, we can derive what is the time required. And of course, the goals have to be smart. What do you mean by smart? It has to be specific. It has to be measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-oriented. Just to give an example, I can't say I want to get my daughter's marriage. I need to say I have to perform my marriage after 15 years for which I need 50 lakhs, right? And the expected rate of return is around 10%. So this is a realistic and achievable target. So this is what I mean by smart goals. So you need to define it, how much money you want. You add inflation, whatever you want, that 50 lakhs, today it might cost you some 15 lakhs. Maybe since we said 10 or 15 years, we have to add inflation to it. So it has to be a realistic and achievable number also. If you give uh, unachievable numbers, then all your investments will go for a toss. Right. Thanks for your detailed answer. If you have any doubt regarding this or any other financial or investment decision, don't hesitate to book an appointment with our financial expert. The link to the appointment is given in the description below. And also, would you like to know more about finance and investment, then we would recommend you to attend our live webinar the link to the webinar is also given in the description below the webinar is absolutely free if you like this video hit like and if you are new to our channel please do subscribe